The beehives are not happy with Miley Cyrus right now as they feel like she was throwing a little shady shade towards Beyonce. Beyonce once said that she did not feel welcomed in the country music industry. But fans are not happy with the fact that Miley was exposing the fact that Beyonce doesn't write her own music. 14, 14 I wrote my first song completely by myself and then I started going to the studio on my off time and just me alone and writing the song. We are going to unpack it all in this video. But before we do that, please make sure to subscribe to the channel if you don't mind, as it helps me out a lot. Now let's get into the mess. Beyoncé has had some struggles when it comes to her making a country album. In fact, the album was a revenge to the country music industry period. This is because she had received some backlash after performing at CMAs in 2016, where she performed her song Daddy Lessons with the Dixie Chicks. She got a lot of backlash, even racial backlash. A lot of people were not happy about her performing at the awards. One member of the audience even exposed what was going on while she was performing. He took to X and said, I was at the CM of the night this happened. I'll never forget when a woman in front of me yelled, get that black bee off the stage. These experiences have happened countless times to numerous black folks in country music spaces. We are trying to change that. This made Beyonce want to break down doors for black country musicians. She even said herself in an Instagram caption that the album was born out of experiences that she had years ago where she did not feel welcome. And it was clear that she wasn't. We be over here playing with like like black music and culture. We just let anybody do anything from a TikTok or from a something. And we let anybody go play around in our music. I'm sorry. Yes, there is racism in Nashville, but most importantly, you're not going to go fuck around with their music. Hmm. You're not going to be over there unless you can really play that piano. You're not going to be around there unless you can really write, unless you can really sing. They're not playing with you. Hmm. And to be in that type of loving environment, to go into a city that is based around the songwriters and the song being bigger than the artist. You know, it's about the song in the Asheville. Song, it's, about the song. it's about the song. I had never experienced that. So I'm thinking they finna stay up with me all night. They're yeah. going to their families and they on time mm. too. They on time to these sessions. Yeah. I never have recorded like a Nashville. Mm. Yeah, that's why I asked. Yeah, that's oh, why I asked. I'm not gonna play with them over there. Y'all not gonna go over there and just hop in no shit over here. Yeah. Right. No, y'all gonna do some music. You gonna you gonna right. pay you gonna pay your dudes like Bluebird Cafe. You ain't gonna sing country unless you do the Bluebird Cafe. I had just did the Bluebird Cafe. They said they had never seen such an African American turnout. They didn't know what was going on, and it, <laughs> it, it's like this room. It's my biggest this room, but every week. The biggest of artists, they're gonna go play the Bluebird Cafe. They down here at Winners and Losers playing their music for fun. They ain't getting paid for that. They ain't doing that. They just out there with their people out there singing. I ain't know what. Wow. For the love. For, for the, the love. love. For the yeah. love. I ain't never seen nothing like that. For ain't nobody love. in their ego. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's racism. Yes, we need to. We got to fight. We got to fight blacks. We got to fight for everything. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But they are still trying to uphold. Yeah. The traditions. The of, traditions. Of, of that music. Of the genre. Yeah. I ain't used to that. Miley Cyrus, who was featured on Beyonce's latest album, did an interview where she talked about working with Beyonce on their song, Two Most Wanted. She revealed that she wrote the song by saying, getting to write a song, not just a song, for Beyonce was a dream come true. Fans took it as though she was throwing a subtle shade towards Beyoncé because she was trying to let it be known that she was the one who wrote the song. Some even say that she should have said something like, writing with Beyoncé, which shows more of a collaborative effort. And we all know that Beyoncé has been facing some controversy for claiming to write songs that she did not write. Some even say she steals the songs. In my opinion, I feel like Miley wasn't being shady at all, maybe a little too excited about the opportunity. And if she did in fact write the song, how she wrote the song, what's wrong with that? And also, she talked about the fact that she and Beyoncé are really close, and they even text. So clearly, she knows that saying that wouldn't offend Beyoncé. Do you guys feel like Miley was trying to be shady? Or it was just an innocent comment? Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you guys in the next video.